Have you ever wondered what happens to a tank if a nuclear bomb lands on top of it? Well, in 1953, that's exactly what happened. The British government decided on a series of nuclear weapons tests in the early 1950s and selected Southern Australia for the test sites. The British government had a nuclear weapons project codenamed Tube Alloys, and through Australia's close ties with the UK, the British utilized three sites in Australia. In the map of Australia depicted, you will see the three sites selected by the British for the test sites. We will only focus on the one that says Emu Field. In the picture presented, you will see Emu Field, the site of the project codenamed Totem 1. The weapon used at the site was codenamed Blue Danube, a nuclear weapon that had a composite plutonium uranium-235 core. Blue Danube was the code name as the British used the so-called rainbow codes at the time. As part of testing, Scientists placed a Centurion Mark V tank, which is a 52-ton tank, 500 meters from ground zero. This is what a Centurion Mark V tank looks like. On October 15th, 1953, the Totem-1 nuclear tests were initiated. Here's an actual photograph from the test that day in October. As far as the placement of the tank goes, here are the results of what happened during the blast. The tank had been placed near ground zero and had been pushed back a full five feet. All the external fittings on the tank had been sheared off as well as the skirt that goes around the wheels. The tank had been partially sandblasted from the concussive wave and the view blocks that the crew used to see out of the tank were sandblasted opaque. The engine had been left running on the tank during the test, and after the test, the tank was found to not be running. It is concluded that if a tank crew had been inside during the test, they would have been killed by the concussive blast. Years after the conclusion of the test, the Australian Army continued to use the tank that was utilized in the testing and the tank saw service in the Vietnam War. It is now presently at the front gates of Robertson Barracks. To this day, the tank has the nickname of the Atomic Tank. You can see the tank pictured here. Here we see a monument for the testing that occurred in Southern Australia in October of 1953. This monument is placed in Paisley, England. This concludes my video on the atomic tank. I really hope you enjoyed it.